stop overthinking over analyzing or your days will be filled with frustration, anxiety, and analysis paralysis. Why make the simple complex? Every choice and decision is an opportunity to invite magic into your life. Sure negative things can happen when bad choices are made but why worry about things that are not likely to happen? Thinking too much about things that are unlikely to happen can take a serious toll on your well-being. Stress is a killer and should be avoided as much as possible in daily life. Research shows that focusing on mistakes and shortcomings can result in many negative health conditions. Stop overthinking over analyzing and enjoy living in the moment. Learn from your failures and celebrate your victories. With a little practice, you can limit your negative thinking and actually enjoy potential stressful decision-making situations. Here are a few helpful tips to help you stop overthinking over analyzing and thrive when life brings you to a fork in the road. 5 Tips to Help You to Stop Overthinking Over Analyzing Take action. If you are not moving forward, you are moving backward. Action should always be your default response in decision-making situations. The action could involve weighing your options, using the pertinent information to move forward, or declining an opportunity. Taking action should never include moving recklessly as a solution to stop overthinking over analyzing. You should never allow stress or anxiety to raise their ugly heads. When they do you are more prone to choose inaction and succumb to paralyzing fear. Stop overthinking over analyzing and take action before that can happen. Pull the trigger quickly. Analysis paralysis is opposition to your happiness. Set a reasonable time limit to take action and stick to it. Ask yourself what you can do right now to move closer to your desired results. If you don't set a time limit to take action you will never enjoy the benefits that are realized when you stop overthinking over analyzing your situations. Learn to make a decision quickly and stand by it as long as it yields positive results. Also, be ready to change directions when results are not favorable. Learn to allow the amount of time to take action in proportion to the size and impact of the results on your life. For example, deciding what's for dinner should take only minutes to take action. Deciding to leave a long-term relationship and become a digital nomad should be allotted more time. You get the point. Experiment and find out time frames that work for you. Don't feel married to those initial decisions and reserve the right to be fluid and leave space to pivot and change your mind. There is never a perfect time. The perfect time to act is always now. The action does not always mean diving in headfirst. It may mean you do not feel like swimming today or it may mean wading in slowly is the best course of action. Those are actions and should be decided in record time. Avoid the stress of overthinking and overanalyzing. Don't put off important decisions until tomorrow. Tomorrow never comes. Very few decisions require you to sleep on it to improve the likelihood of making the best choice. The choice you make is the best choice and you should make it and then work hard to make it work. Stop overthinking over analyzing all situations, take action and get back to living your extraordinary life. The best time to take the first step to end overthinking is now. Today. Don't play events in your mind over and over and stop worrying about things you can't control. Control what you can today and move forward. Perfection is not real and all of your decisions will not yield perfect results. Live your life and fully embrace the decisions you make. If you find that a decision was not good for you, change it. Never be paralyzed with fear and inaction because you have an important decision to make. Feel excited and empowered that you have the new opportunity. Live in the present. The key is not to control everything you think but to filter what you think and extract the gems. Living in the present acts as a natural filter to help you reach your desired goal. Immersing yourself in the present makes it near impossible to dwell on the past and longingly daydreaming about the future. Living in the present will force the need for you to make the best decision you can make today. Making the best decision today to resolve a situation or reach a goal is all you can really do. There is no such thing as luck. There are only informed decisions and outcomes. Like they say, luck is what happens when preparation meets opportunity. Living in the present is a great tool to help you stop overthinking over analyzing any situation. It will all but eliminate it. The present is where life happens and a great medium to quickly gather, analyze, and engage situations in making the best decisions possible. The sooner you can make the best decisions, the sooner you can get back to enjoying life. Living well should be your goal. Having more time to make great memories with good friends and family can be an outcome when you stop overthinking over analyzing life. Stop the elevator and get off. This sounds simple but can be the most effective. 
when you feel the stress and anxiety that accompanies thinking over analyzing life just stop. Make a conscious and deliberate decision to slow down and just stop. Stop overthinking over analyzing, move slower, think slower, relax, and just stop. Oh yeah, stop. Once you slow life down for the moment and gain full control, use a few of the tips above to get the moment back on track. Then make the decisions, decide on the course of action, and be done with it. Stop overthinking over analyzing life and begin to enjoy it more. Thank you for stopping by. Click like and bang on the SUBCRIBE button. Also visit the description to get even more exciting information.